Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club once again from Ari Plus, the former Solar Power International uh, from the sunny Anaheim. And uh, it's a great pleasure actually to be here together with our chairman of the club in India, Hitesh Doshi, uh, who is founder of Wari. Yes, so in the past it was solar manufacturer, now it's a huge group operating in solar, energy storage, immobility, franchising network around India, family-driven company. So we met uh, with Ankit, Chaidali. Very soon we also will visit uh, Hitesh in India. So Hitesh, you know, this was uh, my long introduction. So welcome to United States. Thank you, Thomas, for taking out the time and visiting our booth. Thank you. I see that uh, the show is so busy, yes? There is so many people attending. And uh, do you have also a lot of participants coming to your booth? Yeah, we, we have a very good uh, moment today, I will say. Since in the morning we are very busy and looks like this is going to be a great show for us. And uh, is it your first time when you are boosting your business in US or you are already active? We are coming to United States uh, from almost uh, for 20 years now. And particularly for solar, it is uh, 13, 14 years now. Since when I would say that your business really uh, kicked off in the United States with, uh, on a larger scale? I think last three years. And uh, this is mainly for solar or also for other products? No, at present it is focused on the solar, on a lot of special products, tailor-made products and the large-scale utility solar panels also. And how do you feel now about all this uh, new legislation in the United States really to push uh, solar energy and all the clean tech in the country? And uh, how do you think this will help also Wadi to be more present in the market? I think this is a game changing for the clean tech. Whatever the new energies will come through these new regulations that will change the entire energy way the con consumers are consuming as well as it will be a pure transition. Particularly for Wari, I see this is a big opportunity to set up the manufacturing in the United States and serve more to the local market here. Solar, energy storage and hydrogen. So now, uh, because you know, maybe some American players, they don't know you, or maybe they know you only from solar, yes, especially from solar modules. But uh, can you tell me more about uh, your recent uh, developments in all the clean tech business? Yes, so you acquired uh, Indosolar, yes? Yeah, we acquired the Indosolar. They were in a solar cell manufacturing in India. We have also started the new company called Wari ESS, that is a purely based on the energy storage company. And there we are doing now a lot of lithium-ion batteries, other technologies on the batteries. We are providing these batteries for the automobiles as well as the energy storage. We are also working on a hydrogen where we are going to start the production of the electrolyzers in India. And based on United States, we'll start here also. So the company is in the manufacturing. The second step comes to the EPC in India and Southeast Asia, we are done over a thousand projects on the rooftops oh. and, and the ground mounted. We go step ahead, we produce the energy and we supply the powers. So we call the IPP business that we have in India at moment. We have also started a microfinancing company in India three years back. So the small... So you work with Sandeep, yes? Yeah. So this is the microfinance business is focused where the people are using the diesel oh. and they are not having the capital to buy the solar panels, but they have the money to pay every day for the diesel. Oh. So through this microfinance company, it is a diesel or kerosene, whatever they are paying for every day, how they pay as an installment, and then they own that system after the few installments. So this microfinance business is also going well. So I hope that uh, Professor Yunus, Nobel laureate from Bangladesh, who invented the microfinance, right. would be very happy. So we need to invite him actually to India. Sure, we will. This is not a full stop Wari. Wari will continue to grow and find the new solutions and technologies. To reach to the customers, we have like a coffee shop, pizza shops here in the United States. We have the solar shops in India. At present, there are 380 operationals. We have 9,000 installers to whom we are constantly training and making it sure that solar goes to the smallest village in India and it reaches to every user. I imagine that when you came first time uh, to the United States, uh, 
maybe customers were quite reluctant yes, to the products coming from India. And how this attitude of customers changed uh, during these years? I think we, we have proven with the small, small orders that this is a company to trust and rely. And that we have proven more during the most difficult time when the shipping costs were at the sky high, the COVID time. But we made it sure that whatever it costs Wari, Wari stays on their commitment and we continue to keep and retain our customers with the same customers. And that has given the age over the competition to work. Yes, because it's uh, not uh, difficult to work when everything is going well, but it's uh, more important to work with the customers and to keep a good relationship when things are not so well. Yes? Right. So that's what we say in Wari that we don't have anything except that trust and relationship to our customers. Exactly. And that's what they like. <laughs> that's, that's why I think you like uh, Cleantech Business Club, yes? Because we always say, together we are stronger, yes? Absolutely, absolutely. We will make longer interview about the company uh, in two weeks when I will visit you in uh, your headquarters. But I would like to ask you about uh, this together we are stronger and human to human relationship. How important it is in India and how would you like to, you know, implement this uh, on the American market? I think this this is a foundation of the business. If we are not together, we are nothing. And human to human, without any human to human touch. For example, we have been doing a lot of Zoom conference, but that happiness was not there. But today when we are meeting the people, we are greeting the people, it's, it's a different, it's different, energy, yeah? different energy, the different paradigm. You can see from that, that yes, this is what something we wanted and we are missing. So the Clintech Business Club, which is focusing on human to human touch, as well as together we are stronger. That's a need and that's the essential of the life in my opinion. Thank you so much. And just uh, like a uh, last thing, so already you implemented 10 gigawatt of uh, module production, 5 gigawatt of solar cells. So just, you know, for the next year, let's say if we meet uh, next year in SPI, what will be your, uh, you know, actual capacities? I think we will reach 20 gigawatt uh, from 10 gigawatt and probably we'll have the manufacturing facilities also in United States till that time. Ah, oh, super. And also you will, uh, because you were mentioning before, that you will have uh, uh, the full integrated production starting from the raw material, yes? Right. We will start from the polysilicon and we'll end up with the modules. We see each other in two weeks in India and next year in Anaheim. So all the best and thank you very thumbs much. up for solar, for thank clean you. tech and for worry. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much.